In this video, we'll reframe the old concept of instantaneous rates of change in terms of the limit. This is what we've seen so far, that the instantaneous rate of change of a function at some value a can be approximated using this difference quotient, f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. And the approximation gets better and better as H gets closer and closer to zero. We came across this idea in section 2.1. But in that section, we didn't have the terminology to properly express this idea. Now we do. The instantaneous rate of change of a function at A is a limit. The limit as H approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. And this limit gets its own piece of notation and its own name. We get a little sick of writing out the phrase instantaneous rate of change after a while. The derivative of a function at a has the notation F apostrophe A in parentheses equals this limit. And we are going to spend most of the rest of this semester studying derivatives, how to find derivatives, how to use derivatives. For now, let me just make the observation that we've also seen a graphical interpretation of instantaneous rates of change in terms of tangent lines. So let me end this video with a summary. The derivative is the instantaneous rate of change at A. It is also the slope of the line tangent to the curve at the point A comma F of A. This is sometimes rephrased as the direction of the curve at a comma f of a. So these together with this are four different ways of expressing the same concept. 